If you don't respect her, you'll cheat. It's that simple. <laughs> My people, my tribe, my name is Zentara and you're now locked into Zentara Perspective. If you're new to the channel, Zentara Perspective is a channel where love of filmmaking and cars comes together to make content for you. Now today, I'm taking you behind the scenes of one of my shoots. We're gonna be working with Carti, a producer who usually works in Capsule Studios. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you will already have met Carti and you will already be aware of Capsule Studios. If this is your first time, you're in for a treat. Today, I'm gonna to be filming uh, some kind of commercial for him, but basically creating some content to build his brand. And obviously, my company, Rich in Pigment, is in a great position to do that. Together, we grow, together, we maximize, together, we elevate. And that's what I'm trying to do for my boy today. And I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. I'm obviously gonna be mainly focused on shooting, but I will be checking in, in and out to maybe explain some lighting setups, camera settings, yada, 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 if you're interested in that. However, I just wanna give you a bit insight more into my work, into what goes into making videos like this. And yes, my people, let's get in the studio right now. All right, my people, so we are currently set up. Your girl's favorite producer in the back over there. Oh, God and we're about to film the interview segment. But as you can see, using a three light setup, I got the big umbrella for my key. I need to get softbox, I know. I've got another light giving me the edge over there and the background light over here. So this is the setup we're going for for the interview. Let me come over this side so you get a better view. I've put this red light here. I would have usually used a blue for this kind of setup already, but just to separate Carti from the background a bit more, but I've lost my blue gel. So I'm currently using this red gel just to give him a bit of separation. So you can see what that looks like on there. That's what he's looking like. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably plaster some footage so that you get more view of what I'm gonna do and the kind of grade I'm gonna use for this. But this is the setup so far. So it's looking good. I'm gonna set you guys down so that you can see the process as it carries on. But yes, umbrella for the key. We've got a fill light over there. And then we've got a backlight offered by this little light here. Hello, mate. Oh, ooh, look at the arms though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I've been in the gym. Ah, uh, for sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need that. You're right. My guy. What is that smell? Shit. Oh. Well, that's shit. Nah, it's too wet. <laughs> Damn it. Huh? But then in the previous shots it wasn't raining. Yeah, so really and truly, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not hard either. It's not, it's not cheap. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you say that, but temptation is a <laughs> Temptation is a It is. I'm not going to lie to you, but like... But if you're already down not to cheat, then you won't cheat. I would say it just depends on... It always comes down to how much you cheat. For me, it's not. It's less about your where, how much self-control you have. For me, it's it always the determining factor is how much respect you have for your for your partner. That's all it is for me. If you don't respect her, you'll cheat. It's that simple. So say you're seeing someone and you do something, you're not in a relationship. But if you're not in a relationship, then 
there's no there's no contract there. If you know the relationship, you know the relationship. Sure. That's what a lot of women don't realize. Like, if you if um if you are with someone, then it's not about being exclusive to every like to let everybody know that I'm in a relationship. Mm. Like, if if you are with someone and, with someone and you guys have you know you've got that agreement, you know when you're with someone and you know when you're not with yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you? If you both know you're together, what's already understood doesn't need to be said. You feel me? Yeah, because it's already there. You know the boundaries. You know. Yeah. yeah sure. And you know if it if you guys come to a point where yeah let's we I'm gonna let my girls know, I'll let my boys know. Do you know what I mean? So because I'm seeing this there. girl, like obviously we're not doing it for anyone else, and mm. I think we know that already. Yeah. We don't mm. even say anything to each other. We know mm. if we go and do quad elsewhere, it's gonna affect. Ult- each other. Ultimately, it is gonna come to a point where it will come to what are we? Well, it's already come to that many times. It will always come to what are we, and then at that because girls, girls will always, will always get to a point where they want to know if if what that is has got any legs. Yeah. And at that point, they'll ask, they'll ask you verbally because you haven't shown sure, any sort. As far as the, as far as they're concerned, you wouldn't have shown them anything that shows them that you're. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're down for it like that. So if they're asking you verbally and they want a verbal confirmation, that's them like proper stepping out of their comfort zone because like, yeah, i got to find out. That's them being at the stage where it's like, well, if it doesn't show me now, I'm out. That's what a lot of guys don't realise. If she has to come out and actually say it, that's like someone, that's like someone being at the door and trying to find a reason. Um, well, either there's something in it for me or I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because the whole, the whole, we're not in our early 20s anymore. The, a lot of these girls, they're not really willing to compromise a lot. And us men, we should be the same. We shouldn't want to compromise. Mm. But at the same time, like, your time is your, li- your life force. Mm. If, it's, if you take time out of the equation and change the time to life, if you, you're not going to be spending time with this girl. You're going to be spending parts of your life with this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... You know, if the answer is yes, go for it. If, if not, no, then keep it stepping like this. You waste your time, basically. Because, bro, women are stress. Whether you love her or not, women are stress. And it, 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 when you've been in it as long as I have, it comes down to. Are you willing to say that? Stress? No, no. Well, it's who is are you? Who? Are you willing to tolerate that stress from that person? Yeah, because you really have to accept someone for who they are. Yeah. Imperfections and all. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And this is what I'm going through. What this one like? I'm really ready to take on that baggage like I did many years ago in my relationship. Because mm. remember, I've been single for six years now. Yeah. And I haven't been in a relationship because of many reasons. Because I wanted to be pure again. Mm. I didn't want to get into a relationship where there's baggage still left. With her now, there's baggage. Mm. But is that, am I willing to support her through whatever she went through? Then all her trauma that she's been through, that stuff there. There's so many different factors. Yeah, that's part of it. That's, that's part of it. Big part of it. I mean, I haven't got any trauma in my life where I thought, oh, right, you know. Obviously, I did, but I've learned to get over it. I've learned to overcome that. Mm. But everyone's different, I guess. And everyone handles things differently. Yeah, man. Like, a lot of the time, a lot of people don't realise when it comes to relationships, like, you have to, as you guys grow, you're basically helping each other battle with your, whatever your past traumas are, whatever yeah, yeah, your yeah, imperfections yeah. of yourself is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie, my my girlfriend definitely helped me become the man I am today. Um, if I if I didn't go through what I did with her or in front of her, yeah. I, I think I'd be a very different person. Only because we got together, like, what, 21? So I was second year of uni, and, and that was like a formative, those were the formative years for me in yeah. terms of what I was going to be the rest of my life or what oh. my... So, like... She saw me when I was a young boy. Bro, when I first met my girl, I was riding a bike to her house because she left school at 16. So by the time that we got together, she was already doing up, driving a nice car, all of this shit. Really? I was riding a bike to go see her, bro. Ugh, that's black. With her, with all of her family and things laughing at me. Like, bro, why are you with this dog? Yeah, He's riding yeah, a bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, she see me from that guy to a guy who I've got everything I have now. Yeah. So, like, when you go through someone with that, there's a lot of, like, things that you go through growing up. Mm. And the relationship, a big part of that is really, you know, coming to terms with, okay, like, if I'm going to be with this person, are we going to be able to go through turbulence together? Like, you know... Rocky roads. 
you go and you have to go through the same for her because fam, life is peak, bro. Like any relationships, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when you said like the way you survive is peak? It's like fuck me. It's a reality check. It's a big reality check because life is so peak. Bro, life is. And it will punch you up and swallow you up and spit you out like the fucking cut you up. Life doesn't hold your hand, bro. No, it doesn't. Life just says, okay, learn you to don't. swim, wash it in there. Learn and yeah, and you're drowning. And you're drowning still. Yeah, and, and you wash it down, and it's not gonna give you help and all. It's like, bro, if you don't learn how to swim, you're fucked. Mm-hmm. And you know, if any relationships that have survived the pandemic, I think, are a good sign of like, you know, your ability to go through things because the, the pandemic does a lot, of, like being inside all the time. Puts things under pressure. When there's arguments, you have to see each other's face. When there's any kind of disagreements and you have to keep arguing about the same mm-hmm. thing until you come mm-hmm. to some kind of reasoning, mm-hmm. learning how to be friends. Because I remember when I was going to a relationship, I didn't respect that, the concept of being friends with your partner. For me, like a boyfriend, and a friend were two different things. Right. And like, it took me the following years to understand how important it is to be friends with that person you've chosen. Like, I'm not talking friends as in like, like you, about sexual shit. Now I'm just talking about like, for instance, I can play PlayStation on my girl or watch anime and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, those things that you like doing, like, anything that you like doing and she may not be into that but she's cool with it yeah 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 do you know what I mean okay. she knows that's your thing innit there's a, there's a, the qualities that I value when I, when I, I think that's I think that's, I think that's I think that's the fair reason differentiate differentiate between the friendship and the relationship because there is a big difference yeah there is a big difference there's a big margin um, there's more there's more investment more investment of time more investment of everything there's more emotional investment and at first, my fear of just getting back into relationships is the fear of just going through the heartbreak, but I'm fear of going through the stress. Right. That's why I'm with this one. I'm finding it hard, not to connect, but I'm connecting with her. But it's just taking it. I'm taking baby steps. I'm gonna tell you this, yeah. This might shake you off a bit. The fear, never, the fear never goes away. I know exactly the fear you're talking about about investing in someone, especially after you've been through some shit. It doesn't go away. It always rests when you're going in, but it like what happens is. You, you, um, the, the, the deeper your relationship goes, you get to a stage where it becomes less of a factor to you. So you, it's there, but it, it just doesn't impact you as much. Okay, so I can compare it to this. Is it like losing a loved one uh-huh. and accepting it for what it is? So because like the pain will never go away, but it'll always be there in the back of your head. And you deal with it in a in certain way. way. Yeah. So it's basically the same concept. Yeah. And so it's, it's also and that's where the, the, the female relationship come the female side of the relationship for you comes in in the sense that what I was talking about earlier about her about the person you're with helping you fix your past traumas. Right. Her being a good woman to you, her being your support system will t- will chisel away at that pain you feel from the heartbreak you've had in the past. Yeah. That's 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 what kind of balances that shit out. But that's mad. But the, you can never get to that point unless you dive in. Like, you, you can't tip your toes in, make sure it's okay. Nah. You can really, it's, you, it's all or nothing, basically. You have to step in. Or that's because, it. If, because if you don't step in, what happens? Boom. Because like with her, yeah, like I, we started a conversation two days ago, yeah? Mm. And she just started crying. And mm. I noticed it, with the women I choose, there's always some sort of tearful moment. During sex, before sex, or in just in a moment. And it's always me, bro. I swear to God, it's, it's a pattern, bro. There was a pattern. I don't know, bro. You say there's a lot of girls you have. No, but this is not... I, don't, I just find it weird. Like, every girl I had, yeah, has always teared up in front of me. It's like, it's like I've been some sort of... Oh, I don't know. I think Sometimes I think it's me. I don't know if it's me, but they feel like they could find in me. It's not just you, bro. It's not just me? It's not just Should you. get my ego shot. All, yeah. all, all, of my, all of my girlfriends have teared up on me in bed. For like and a lot of the time, it's like no explained reason. Is that- They'll just get mad emotional, and then like a lot of the time, it won't even be something related to what you did that day. So you might be thinking, right? Did I upset her when we were at dinner or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out to be like she she either come out of like, oh, I'm just so happy, or she's really really sad about something else. It's like we're having sex here, and you're over there. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, our minds gone left. But women are like that. But it's the thing, like, and she was crying because obviously she went for some madness with her ex boyfriend, yeah. Mm. And I, I was just saying, look, like, what you've been... I was trying to, like, give her that pep talk or whatever. Mm. And then... 
Do you run off? Like she just started crying. I was like, bro, like fucking hell. Was that an appreciation? Was that an appreciation of like you comforting her? Com- I wasn't. Comforting her, I was I think comfort her was that probably was that, and I feel like just being being understanding, and understanding what she's been through, mm-hmm. like and everything. But it was just mad, like, and I'm just there, I'm thinking, fucking hell, bro. Like it got me a bit sad because I was a bit emotional about it. Because then you know, I don't like people like. I don't like seeing people that I like upset. It just hurts, isn't it? I don't like it, it just jars me, in it? Five above. But the thing is, I don't know if because she was drunk as well, that kind of enhances the emotional... It does. Like, because I'm not going to lie to you, bro. But about 15 minutes later, fam, mum was in my feelings, (laughs) fam. It was like a heart-to-heart, bro. I I can't lie to you. Fam, I started burning, fam. Some people might say it's moist, bro, but like, moments like that are very regular when you're emotionally invested with someone. Like... But it feels good. It did at the moment because like you're not with men. We don't say we don't cry, apparently. Like and when we let out all our emotions, yeah, when we cry, do you know how much that feels better? The yeah. how, well, people it's don't know this because there's so much in there. Yeah. So you, it's that rare release. And, and, and do you know what's funny about? I needed to release it. I needed to somehow get this, all this fear, all this anger out. But I didn't say a lot. But I just I just cried a little bit. It just helped me to just. But that's a, that's a good journey for you guys to go through, man. Honestly speaking, because. That's when you know there's, for me, yeah, relationships without that tend to lack a particular level of substance. If you can't be deep with someone, I'm not just, I'm not just saying just being deep for the sake of being deep. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like when it's real, you know it's being real. Like when you're really able to like talk about shit yeah. and like not for the sake of, yeah, I'm just doing it to make her feel better. But then you you, you're talking about it from the perspective of okay I'm being really deep right now but I want to share some of my stuff as yeah, well and yeah. do you know what I mean when when you when you get that kind of exchange it's so so important but I can't say how I can't tell you enough how important yeah. that is because like literally bro like I've been in the past I've been in relationships where I couldn't do that at all bro mm-hmm. and it killed me inside bro mm-hmm. It killed me. It's like some women will have you feeling so closed off that you can't. You get it'll get to the point, yeah, where you can't just be yourself. Like yeah, you it'll can't. build. It'll build from you can't show emotion, you can't cry, till you can't be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you've reached that, you can't be yourself. More, there's just nothing. There's, there's no substance at all. You can't even bring yourself to have sex with a girl. <laughs> and when a man is turning down sex, that's a problem. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. If you if you're having if you're having good conversations like that, just go with the flow, man. See where it takes you. Yeah, that's what we're doing. It will it will just give you guys a deeper understanding of each other, and hopefully, it'll put you in a good position where you can both like support each other further. Because then now it will be a situation of let's say that was the first time she saw you be that emotional, yeah. Mm. Now she'll know. Okay, so. Okay, so this is what Cut is like when he's when he's feeling a bit down. Mm. Okay, next time Cut is feeling a bit down, she she might be a bit more responsive to it, and then she'll be like, and then and then we all get in those moods where it's like we're going through shit, but we don't want to talk about it. Yeah. She'll be that person that's like, well, I know you're going through something, like just yeah. talk it out. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the thing with me is, I'll brush off. I wouldn't do it all the time. It would be a moment. That would be the moment you catch me. Mm. I said to above, you will never see me like that again. Mm. I'm telling you now, right now, mm. you probably will. But like, it was just me being my alpha male self trying to make like I'm hard, but I'm not fucking hard. Naturally, you chat. It's, it's a masculine thing, yeah. bro. Yeah. We don't want to be, bro, what, the first time I cried in front of my girlfriend was an emotional day for me, bro. Like, I, I literally felt like a, I felt like a child, bro. I bro. felt emasculated. New baby. <laughs> like, she, she's there comforting me. I'm like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you better touch me, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, well, what is this? Trust. But it's like what you need. It's still what you need. Do you know what I mean? And that I think that's the difference between like mothers and girlfriends or wives. Mm. Like the w- girlfriends and wives will slip into that relate into that position mm. where classically your mothers may have been that person. And then when this new woman comes in your life and she wants to be that for you, it's a slow build for her to really solidify. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. she's up to the task, because it is a task to be that person for you and then take on that responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once she has it, bro, once she, once a girl has you here, like, she's got you for life, bro. Even if you break up, like, she'll always be that person yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. I've never had that. I never. I don't think I have a girl in my life that's like that. Like, mm, maybe, but nah. 
It's still yet to happen, bro. And if that has happened already, it's yeah. still yet to happen. Yeah, bro, because, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit sad, really. I never had that moment with the sun connection, though. You never? Eyes on the camera. Eyes on the camera. That's it. That's it.